All right, guys, so Hurricane Ian is on his way towards us right now. Last one was five years ago. Yeah, the last one was 2017. Was that five years ago? What? I don't know. We're not yeah, doing that math right now. Ago. That was five years ago. That was Hurricane Irma. They're saying this one is just as bad or maybe worse. They're talking about 100 mile an hour winds. 130. No, I hope it's not that bad. By the time it gets to us, usually it slows down when it gets to the middle of the state. We are in the middle of Florida. Their schools Basically. just got canceled today, so they're canceled for tomorrow and Wednesday. Wednesday, the hurricane is we supposed to hit us. We might get canceled on Thursday. We don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know yet. Right now, we're actually staying in another hotel because now they're finally starting to do work on our house Resonation. so this is perfect timing for the hurricane to come Black. Relax. So we're gonna keep y'all updated this whole way through it. We're making a vlog. This is just what we go through being uh, Floridians. Right, Kate? Floridians. <laughs> all right, so we just pulled up back to our house. That's the pod with all of our stuff in it. They're doing work on our house right now. I believe they got the painting done today. So I'll show y'all the inside real quick. Oh, that looks good. Got all the doors done. The doors are gonna be black. That'll be black. Front door is gonna be black. So now what we have to do is we have to get everything out of the yard that could possibly blow away. We have to bring it inside the house. Now, remember, guys, this is all from that flood that we had almost a year ago. It'll be a year in December that we had that flood happen in our master bedroom. Water came through the roof, flooded our whole house. So we're just now getting the work done. And this is the process that we got to go through. Let me show you all the garage where all of the stuff is at right now. So we got a bunch of stuff in the garage. Most of the stuff is inside that pod right there. But this is new fridge that we got, stove bunch of new stuff so y'all probably remember this from the halloween special we're hoping that this doesn't get knocked down during the hurricane blair blackwood's house back here that me and my brother-in-law spent three days building hopefully that doesn't fall down either because that's a prop that we're going to use for different videos but we'll see how much did these cost stacy 80 bucks for these so these things are going in the garage All right, you guys, so we're tying our trampoline up right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna tie this trampoline down to a tree. Probably should take it apart, but I'm too lazy to do that. If you want me to be honest, kind of hoping that trampoline does blow away. Never really liked it. I like the circular trampolines better. A square one was just, just felt a little bit small. So kind of hoping it does blow away. <laughs> Here comes the kids out of school today for the hurricane. Jeez, you okay, Lise? Lise, are you okay? Hi, you what were you trying to do? Turn with no hands, right? Yeah, I tried to go around the little roundabout with no hands. So I was just in the middle of recording and we had that hurricane alert warning telling everybody. Yeah, what did it say? Read it. A hurricane warning is in effect for this area for dangerous and damaging winds. This warning is issued up to 36 hours before hazardous condi conditions begin. Urgently complete efforts to protect life and property. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Have food, water, cash, fuel, and medications for three plus days. Follow instructions from local officials. Oh boy. Oh, my God. oh boy. What, Kyle? Don't say that. No, we're not. Uh, my heart's racing. We need to go to North Carolina and bring all it's of it, our family it's with it. us. Dang, we're going to the North Carolina. Today, the hurricane comes. Not bad now, but it's coming tonight. Right now, it's just windy and kind of a misty rain. I can't get in! The door's locked! All right, so the beginning stages of the hurricane there's have started hitting us. You can definitely tell in the air that there's, every yeah, time a hurricane on. comes, you can you can just definitely tell because the streets are usually empty. So we're about to walk outside for the first time. Oh, oh my God. Here we go. It is already, the wind has picked up already. Bad. I'm scared. It's bad. This is better than Irma, which was horrible. Yeah, they're saying now that this is supposed to be worse than Hurricane Irma. And it hasn't even hit us yet. And look at the wind already. We got all of our stuff back here on the back porch. Everything is piled and up. And my tortoise. And Kyle's tortoise. <laughs> Where you at, boy? Keep. <laughs> I'm over here getting ready to film a toy video with a hurricane going on outside. Oh. 
All right, so the wind is really starting to pick up now. I mean, it has gotten a lot faster than before. They say we're really gonna start feeling the winds around four o'clock. It's 2.04 right now. I'm heading to the hotel to go grab my computer so I can do editing while the storm's going on. And oh, oh, there's a tree down. So I gotta hurry up and go do that. And then we're gonna head over to Stacy's sister's house. And that's where we're gonna be for the rest of the storm. I'm gonna show y'all how it looks during a hurricane on our roads. 2.30 and there's nobody out here. Usually this place has traffic everywhere. Tree down already. Look, they got the sign, the billboard ratchet strapped so it doesn't blow away. Can't go this way. It's a giant oak tree blocking the road. You gotta turn around. There's another tree blocking the road. I gotta go another way. So we just pulled up to our house. Huh, let's go this way. Look at all the leaves that took off the trees. Oh no! It knocked down my, my teepee. Dude. Oh my gosh. You know how much work I put into that? Jesus. Hmm. That pine tree fell down. Knock down this whole set that I built for the witch's video. All right, so I'm gonna go inside and see how everything looks. The roof's leaking. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. And the master, basically the same spot. So it's always super weird the next morning after a hurricane because it's like super cloudy, windy, kind of like really quiet. The only thing you can hear is the generators going on. And it's almost like, like the world ended and then everybody woke up the next morning. So what I'm fixing to do now is get this chainsaw, go up on the roof and start cutting, cutting this tree apart so I can just start throwing it off the roof, see where the hole's at. All right, so now I'm on top of the roof. Guarantee that's where the hole is. Somewhere underneath all this. I'll find it once I start cutting everything up. So here's where the biggest damage is on the roof. And I don't know if y'all remember, but we just got this roof redone almost a year ago. All 
All right, everybody, that is the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Hurricane Ian is finally over. We got back to our house. We got everything cleaned up for the most part. We still got some trees down. And thank God we weren't in Tampa or Orlando because mm -hmm. there's a flash flood over there. Yes. Thank, well, thank God we weren't at home when it happened because y'all saw that tree fell on top of the house. The bedroom window busted open. So that, that would be the room we stay in because the other trees are way bigger. Yeah, so that was the room that we were gonna be sleeping in. So thank God we weren't in there when it happened. So, all right, y'all. Uh, thanks for watching. Everyone's safe. Bye, y'all. Bye.